we just spotted this absolutely beautiful 2017 Liberty Coach, and I just happen to be with the man that designed the paint job. Right here. Can you tell us a little bit about this coach and your whole inspiration on this design? Well, you know, everything needs to be different. Each coach needs to be different. And so you have some coaches that are light, you get some that are dark, you get some that are grays. So I had to kind of pick out what colors do I want to use. And uh, the burgundies are real classy. It's just an overall great looking coach. What's going on here, Dean? Well, we're going to show you something that nobody sees. Nobody's got to see. All the top secret stuff is in here. Sorry guys, only I get to see this right now. It's not going to make it on the YouTube, but make sure to subscribe because this, this design that's going to come up on that screen, it's going to be in future YouTube videos. <laughs> it's, it's, it, yeah, it's getting done at the shop right now but it's gonna blow everything away. It's a whole different design, a whole different way of thinking. Top secret stuff going on here right now with Dean Loud. We're talking about all of the different vintages of Dean's paint jobs and how the designs just continue to change. Now, when you look closely here, like, so look at all of the, I, the camera, and this is not this is just on a GoPro, so hopefully it's picking it up, but you've got uh, just, just so much going on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up here. So. Dean, well, I can't explain right. it. Tell us what's going on here. Well, you know, part of it is the, the gradient fade. So this is, you've got silver here, you've got white in the middle, and it goes dark. When you stand back, it's, it's almost like that is in the shadow and it's setting way back inside of it. You've got that gradient going there. You've got different color fading different directions. And then you've got the pattern on there. So you've got a metallic base. You've got solid pins. So that gives you good contrast when you look at it in the light. And of course the, the red's a metallic, but this flake up here is bigger than everything else. And so the pattern, you don't see at certain angles, but when the light hits it, it just glows. So it's, it's just a trick on how you use all, everything together. Everything's yeah. gotta work. Yeah, absolutely. Different materials, anybody can buy the paint, you know, <laughs> virtually anybody can buy the paint. We do have special paint. <laughs> Anyone can buy the paint, it's how you use it and how you put everything together. Absolutely. Wow, look at this. So like. From here, the camera's not even seeing it. You just see all of these cool lines, and then you, you can definitely see how well that shadowing is done. Like there's probably, I would say there's probably 10 to 20 different colors in this area right here. Right. But what I really love about this coach, I, Dean, I, I just keep getting blown away. I've never seen this coach before and seen this design, and this is one of those new designs that they just keep raising the bar. Look at these awesome like a circular design and well, a shade yeah it's about not just using circles that could just be kind of boring but putting the other pattern within the circles so that the, you know oh i didn't even it, notice it, that it breaks them up so know? so yeah so and, you've got got all of these circles here but then there's more pattern hopefully that i mean it's the camera doesn't even i almost need my other wow if you use this flake over the whole coach, it, it'd be, it could be too much, you yeah. know? So you gotta use it, it's like a recipe, you know? It's like a cookie and you want it to be just sweet enough, but you don't want it to be too sweet. Yeah. We, we don't want, we don't want uh, five layers of chocolate. We want, <laughs> we want something else going on. Yeah, no, and this, yeah, you can see there's a metallic flake within that circular design. And ladies and gentlemen there is no way that this camera can pick up all of the intricate detail in this in this work but it is just a treat to see every one of these pieces of artwork okay i just saw some top secret stuff liberty coach 869 i no, no 867 oh no, no, liberty coach 867 and i can't even explain everything's gonna change and any any hints any any like little hints you want to drop for the YouTube subscribers out there? I'm making sure that this camera does not go towards the computer screen. No. <laughs> That's no, no hints, but I'm just honored to be able to be looking at what I'm looking at. And you guys just watch Liberty Coach's website and make sure to watch a YouTube channel because in four months it'll be out and it'll be public and then you can you'll say, Hey, that's the one you just saw and just get yep. your reaction. In four months, guys, it's coming. Keep an eye out. Here's another coach that Dean painted here at the same park and they don't have the year. Usually a lot of the Liberty coaches will have the year written on it. But if I would guess this is around a 2013 vintage because that was kind of the style you were yep, doing yep. around that time. 13, 14, yep. Yeah. 
So the same thing, Dean, you want to tell us a little bit about all the intricate detail going on here? Well, this has got a, a really neat pattern, the gold in here, the flake, and then you've got another pattern laid on top, and then you've got the ghosting between the two and what happens when they, when they overlap. So that starts to be very difficult, and if you notice, you can't see the edges. You don't see the thickness of this here. You don't see running through there. Oh yeah! Right? Wow! Well, that's, that's all talent. Look right at there. that. I mean, this is. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a, a paint edge. Yeah. And when you, as you layer all the different things on top. This of is. Other. Yeah. What he is explaining here, like, look at that that paintwork. How the stripes go through each other without being. I'm just blown away. Yeah, this here, you've got the light gold yellow color with a thin white pin around it yeah you know and you don't you don't realize that that has a pin this doesn't have a pin you know these are ghosted and have shadows on them but the, the tone between here and here is very close and so you know you stand back and you just have to take in everything that's going on yeah oh, this is just beautiful Yeah, and I will point out too, like the different, there's a metallic flake here. It, it's, it's just so many, like that's got the metallic flake. It's just so much going on here. The gold metallic flake. Hey, you know, this pattern's in the background here. I wow. see it from this angle, but yeah. you, you don't see it. You see more of the background than you do the pattern until the light hits it right. So that's totally. again, it's a, it's, it's a story. And, this one, this story is meant to be different than the story of the other one and the story on mine. Yeah. You know, the idea is let's create a new novel for each coach. Yeah. changing right here all the way back to this color all the way back to here and when you stand back and look at it it gets lighter in the middle it gets darker on the ends wow and it's very difficult to do over that kind of a span yeah and then up here it's getting darker this stripe here it's getting darker as it goes up right yeah and it's getting lighter as it comes down this direction so as it follows it here this is light that's dark and then it gets everything's going darker up there it's fading in different directions oh totally now so. this is what i've sprayed 75 percent of well everything you see here so the guys at the shop would get the coach ready for me get the get the tape lines down the stencils that we've got cut get everything down get everything squeegeed around the corners and then say okay we're ready for you to paint then i could come out and paint so you know the thin the thin pinstripes these are difficult to lay down because, as you would probably know, if you ding it, you get a little yeah, oh yeah, dimple in it there. You, it's hard to get it laid without, you know, it's getting it perfect because it's so thin. Yeah. So then the the turn metal look that's been around for many years, but doing it in paint is is what's not easy. And then taking it from turn metal into a highlight, which actually you still see remnants of the turned in the highlight. So I'm trying to trick the eye into thinking that when you look at that stripe, that the sun's hitting it and it's creating a, a, a false highlight there and, and doing something that it's not. So in the shadow areas, it, it looks better, you know, and in the sunlight, of course, it looks phenomenal. Yeah. But if it was all one color, it would just kind of be a stripe. Oh yeah, totally. That, yeah, so I see it goes light there. And then you've got more of that. Uh, you can see here if you look in the, and then come here how the how the metal oh, turn yeah. metal changes right there. It's an iridescent trick, and it only happens um, 
you know, you see it more in the light yeah. as you walk around. Oh yeah. Of course the windows are painted uh, on the back, the window film, and then the front windows are painted. This shortens up the whole area around the windows. So you, you usually have black around the windows to hide the windows. Otherwise you're gonna have big squares of black windows on a freight boat, right? Yeah. So the back ones get painted and your eye just now doesn't even see that window. But the front, adding the paint through the window there, the stripes on top, shorten up the window area and then allow it to look even sportier than it ever could before because you would have to stay out of the windows. So if that whole stripe wasn't there, you'd have a lot more black. Yeah. Which just more black just means it's a bigger area of black. You're yeah. Trying to, trying to trick the eye into thinking the coach is sportier than what it is. Yeah. You know, it's not a big long, it's not as tall, it looks longer and slender and yeah. It's not a big brick. Easier. Wow. So then, as much as this looks silver, uh, grayish tones, and it gets lighter in the middle, it's got a gold pearl on it. So when the light hits it, it really warms up the, the whole look, and it makes it turn yeah. gold, which yeah. you only get in the sunlight. Yeah. And if, it, if the sun isn't, if it's a hazy sun, it doesn't doesn't even glow. Yeah. Wow. So you see the big flake here in the in the blue. Oh yeah. So it's got the big blue flake. So again, you don't see that unless the sun's out, but that's the part you get a different story depending on, on the light. Totally. Now, if someone had an 08 Prevo Liberty coach and they wanted to get like this level of a paint job, how much would that cost to do a crazy insane paint job like this? Well, we're usually around 1200 hours, 1200 to 1500 hours for a new Liberty paint job. Uh, there's over 2,000 hours on this, so you're you're in the 175 range. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so here's something else that we talked about the artist series. It's another level. So any coach that I do is is got the artist series. Okay, but if I do them for myself, it's just the artist series. If I do it for someone else, then it's artist series one, two, three, four, five, whatever we're at. So we're up to like nine. Nice. Something like that. Nice. So you would know that if you're walking around and you looked and you saw Dean Lox, says artist series, and there's no number, that I own the coach. Oh, it's very one, cool. one that I own. Oh, that's I don't very cool. Mine. Nice. A piece of artwork here. So make sure you guys keep an eye out on Liberty Coach's website for all of the new artist series Liberty Coaches. They're definitely worth checking out. Good seeing you. Uh, you know, unless you go out to get the frustrations out of what's happened for the day, you go to skateboarding and get the rhythm of yeah.